Hi all and uh, welcome back to a small help video. Today we are going to talk about Bluetooth and the uh, issues you can have when you are trying to connect your headphones, smartwatch, whatever device to your iPhone, iPad as I have here or whatever device you have. Bluetooth can sometimes be a bit annoying. To start out with, you of course have your quick controls up here and you have the Bluetooth the sign and symbol up here and you can turn on and off uh, the Bluetooth uh, connection and that could actually just be the one that you are looking for that you need to switch on and off your Bluetooth connection. So uh, I will uh, give you some tips and tricks here uh, how to troubleshoot and also how you maybe could have a workaround or a fix for your Bluetooth connections. So uh, going into settings, you have your Bluetooth section in here where you can see if your Bluetooth is on or off up here. So that's the same as the quick control that I just showed you that you can turn it off and on again. And it will start discovering Bluetooth devices around the device. And uh, if you have a new device, I have my AirPods right here, they are not connected to this device. So if I want to connect that, as you can see, not your iPads you want to connect. I have a small button at the back of uh, this one and uh, I want to connect. And as you can see, it is already connected. So now I have my AirPods down here and I can see that it is on and it is powered all, all the way through it. So that's the quick way, but uh, you are probably here because it is not working as expected. So one of the things that you can try out is, of course, as I always recommend, if you have issues with your iPad is to turn it off and on, do a restart of your device. So uh, try and uh, have a go on, on that one turn it off and turn it on again. And uh, when you come into your device, you can see if it is already discovering your Bluetooth headphones or smartwatch or whatever you are looking for. Do a turn on and off again and see if that is working. If the restart of your device didn't work, then we have another option and that's the airplane mode. You can put your airplane mode on, wait for five to 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and turn it off again. Your Bluetooth will automatically be turned on again and uh, then you can see if your device is being discovered. That's one of the good things to try out. And uh, I will just go in to your Bluetooth settings. If your device has already been connected and it is still not connecting, uh, then a good thing is of course to try and forget your device. So uh, you have this small eye icon over here where you can go into your device. And at the bottom, you have the forget this device. So you just click that one, press the forget device. And it asks, are you really want, willing to forget this device? I say, yes, please do. And now it should be removed from your list. So once again, try and reconnect your device. I will open up mine, press the back for a few seconds and as you can see it's asking me do you want to connect i would love to connect this uh, set of airpods to my device so it is already done and i say done and you can see now my airpods are now connected to my device so that's uh, the simple uh, steps you can do by troubleshooting your airpods issues. Of course, you also need to have a look at your AirPod, uh, iPhone, uh, AirPods, headphones, smartwatch, whatever device you're trying to connect to your iPad. Have a look at that. Is there enough 
is there is there uh, enough power on your device it is is the bluetooth connected uh, uh, to another device i always see that with my kids at sometimes they have their headphones connected to their iphone and then they are not able to connect to the ipad so make sure that the other devices are not connected to your headphone for example then please turn off the other connection and go in and see if you are able to connect to your iPad. That's always a good idea to have a look at that. Then of course, is the Bluetooth connection turned on on your headphones, on your device that you want to connect to this device? That is always a good idea either. Then uh, the iPad is not able to discover your headphones. One last thing, and uh, that's the more dramatic one to use, but uh, that is uh, at least the last one you should use if you are not able to connect your Bluetooth headphones or watch. So uh, go into your settings, going down to the general section and scroll down to the button. Here you have the reset. And if you go into your reset, in here you have a lot of different things you can reset. And the one we are looking for in this scenario is the reset network settings. So now you are saying network settings, that has absolutely nothing to do with your Bluetooth. Well, that's not really the truth because actually the network do have something to do with your Bluetooth. It is somehow connected. So uh, I have seen it a few times that uh, if you reset your network uh, settings, press that one and you have to enter your passcode, then it will reset all settings regarding Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and all that kind of connections. So you will have to set up your Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi uh, things again. But it is a good idea to uh, do that as the last uh, troubleshooting things for Bluetooth issues. So uh, go into your general, go into settings at the bottom you have the reset and press the reset network settings. And after that, try and go into your Bluetooth connections again and see if you are able to connect your device to your iPad. So hopefully some of these steps uh, can uh, give you an idea of how to fix your issues with the Bluetooth. It can be a bit of an issue sometimes, and sometimes just patience is enough. Sometimes you have to push the button at your device a bit longer than you expected. Wait 10 to 15 seconds if the iPad is actually able to discover your device. So patience is always a good idea when you are working with Bluetooth. Hope that you can use some of these tips and tricks. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, put it in the comments section if you liked this video and got your problem solved, give me a thumbs up or a comment and please subscribe to my channel for more help video. Thank you and see you all.